welcome back. So, obviously I'm not at Andre's place, I'm at Firelink Shrine. Because there's a couple things I want to do before we proceed on to uh, Sen's Fortress and beyond. First of which, is I'm gonna go down here, because I discovered some things. So, between the part one of this video and part two, which is this, I discovered a couple things. And I went and I cleared out all the areas that we had previously went to. So all the areas that we, we had rushed through and ignored a lot of the items, I went through and I grabbed everything. I don't think I've... I, maybe I got like one or two levels from doing that, but not much. But while I was doing so... I did... Oh, geez, my mouse is on screen. Oh, embarrassing. I did find some guns, obviously, because I got I got this plasma rifle. We're, yeah, we've, we've upgraded. We don't have the plasma pistol anymore. Now we have the plasma rifle. So I got this... Let's see, what is new? I got the plasma rifle, I got the spiker, and I got the SMG. I believe those are our new additions. Which, the SMG, I got in right past where the boar is, when you're doing Undead Burg. When you go down underneath, because the gate closes on you, you go underneath and you have to climb up. There's a ladder you climb up, and then there's some, like, scaffolding. You just go to the end of the scaffolding. And that's where the SMG is. The rifle was in the uh, darker garden on the path to the Moonlight Butterfly, where there's that where there's there's that big tree that's in the way that you have to uh, actually attack and kill because it turns out it's a living creature. You do that and you keep going, and there's a big open area with a couple of trees scattered around. And uh, well, it's more than a couple, but but it's more open area than it is trees. And you just follow that until there's a big drop-off and there's those, like, lily pad creatures. And you just go to the right. And you just you just go to the right all the way. And there's, like, like, a, like a nice little nuzzled ledge. And that's where the plasma rifle was. And then the spiker... The spiker I found in the catacombs. And you... The area that you go down into, where it's the destructible wall, and this is not Tomb of the Giants, this is Catacombs. It's the destructible wall that leads to where the, the Dark Moon Seance Ring is, and there's the, uh, there's the actual giant skeleton, the only giant skeleton that is, that is down there before you get to the Catacomb, or before you get to the Tomb of the Giants. And you just jump down there, and there's a ladder. There's a ladder to lead back up. And then instead of like taking, when you, you're on a tiny ledge when you take that ladder, and instead of taking the ladder back to safety, you just go until it hits the wall, which is like a dead end. And that's where the, uh, that's where the spiker was. And before I talk to Rickert down here, I, I should show this. Huh. Look at that. You actually get spike grenades. Isn't that some shit? But all right. Hello, Rickert. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. I'm more... Well, I'm... As well can. Uh, oh, okay, bro. Just... Have you... Is all that... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. So he has... Even more Dark Souls 2 armors. He's got a ton of stuff. He's even got the Alone set. Sir Alone. Come back soon. And obviously, you see I, I have upgraded to the, uh, the giant dead mask. And this is the, I got this from the Moss Lady, this outfit. It's the Drake Blood outfit, which from Rickert I bought 
I did get some stuff from Vickert, or, uh, Rickert. I got the Vestalt armor. It's too chunky for us now, but we will get there. So right now we're, we're Drake blood. So we're, so we're blood father right now, but we're, but we're trying to get to father Vestalt. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to keep going down the Valley of Drake's because we have to go see Havel because we need his ring. And we should probably finish off. We, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of this dragon. Oh, <laughs> I, I guess I, I'm sure if you're at part two of this that you already know what we're doing, which is Inferno Plus's mod for Dark Souls, which adds Halo weapons to the game. And, uh, you know, in Dark Souls, when there's a dragon and you stand back and you shoot it with arrows until it dies, this mod makes it so, what if every fight was like that? <laughs> no, that's, a, that's an oversimplification, but... But it makes it a lot more viable. I forget I, I think I switched okay I, I went down to Nito and I and I gave him a bunch of eyes of death so that I could get the see because I have this one Gravelord strike equipped which uh which does this yeah nice straight up sword but uh we got the the one that does the the equivalent of the Flame Tempest, but with swords. Which it makes a bunch of them erupt from the ground. I, I went and got that from Nito. But because of that, I actually need to go back to Alvina to join the Covenant again. Because I didn't get to check to see what Shiva has. If he has anything new. Thanks to Inferno. Because I'm sure he does. Because why wouldn't he? Look at a T-Posing Dragon. Oh, no grenades. Oh my god. I almost died. Yes, I suppose I should pick up this humanity. Where's he going? Yeah, see, if you kill him with the grenade... They glitch out because they're not supposed to, <laughs> to, like, flatten like that. So they glitch out and they... And they do that. We're not going that way. We're taking the long route to Havel. I don't even know if I'll find a practical use for this one, the Gravelord Strike. I'll probably switch off of it as soon as we um, are strong enough. Or our, our faith is boosted enough to use Wrath of the Gods. Okay, we're not sitting there. I want to have a nice, convenient homeward all the way back to Fireling Shrine. I 
Okay, and the other thing I did was that because we defeated the the Hydra over here, the Golden Golem that has Princess Dusk in it appeared. So I so I defeated that. So now all we have to do, I can show off what new additions Princess Dusk has. defeat these golems. Man, I can't wait till we find the Needler. Like, the, the Needler... The Needler, the Plasma Sword, and the Brute Shot are definitely what I'm looking forward to finding the most. Okay, done and done. Yes, if you did not know, after you free her from the golem, this is where her summon sign appears. Hello. I am Dusk. Of the yes, I I know who you are. Proper bow. Oh wait, no, no, I don't want to talk, no. Okay, so yeah, Trick of Light, which, uh, look at that, there's a typo. Unless, uh, <laughs> unless Inferno meant to put three T's in there. Uh, t t t t <laughs> But, uh, but yes, these are the additional spells that are in here. I already, uh, I already bought something out of here. Maybe it was Hidden Body. Hidden Body and Light are what I already bought out of here. But yes, Trick of Light. I, I don't even know if I want to try this thing out. We definitely don't have the sorcery to try it out, but it sounds weird. It has the power to undo attacks or others' attacks. And vanish. Makes you invisible, but it severely weakens you, which that seems like it's more for PvP. I, d I don't know if that's actually going to work on AI. But yes, that's that what she me. has. And just to show that I did indeed. Yeah, these were the two. Hidden body and light. Those were the two that I got from her already, which those I'm pretty sure I know hidden body. Light, I don't know if I ever used in the base game. I, I always forget it's there, but it would be very useful. Like, if you knew it was there and you go and get it for the catacombs, so you don't have to have the skull lantern. But I, she probably she probably has that in base game. Just, it's one of those things I never use, so I never remember. Okay. Oh, hi, uh, hey, buddy. Give me, give me a second, okay? I'm trying to... Mentally prepare for my my entry into there. Okay. Okay, um All right, uh Do I only have five ammo left? I do. Okay. See good thing. I took that extra second to make sure I was ready Ooh. Okay, we did it. We beat him. Man, the plas- the grenades are so strong. Obviously, they're so strong if the one spike killed the, um... That... The zombie dragon or whatever it's called. The corrupted dragon. But okay, we've done it. I'm, I'm just OCD going up here just so I can open the door. Okay, 
Away we go. Okay. All right, so we've done that. Now, what are the further steps we have to do before we go to Sen's Fortress and then Anor Londo? Well, step one is that we're gonna go up here. Oh, no, no, no squirrel jump yet. This away. No! Game, you betrayed me. You know what? Let's sit at the bonfire. Oh! I almost forgot. I went and saved him. This is good. Oh, well, I almost forgot to show the, the things that he has now. So I think warmth is new, maybe? But yes. Oh, oh, and... Yeah, it says Rapid Flame now. It makes me want to try it out, because I don't know if that means you can just, like, rapid-fire fireballs out of there or not. I don't think I bought anything from him. No, but I did get these from... from Blight Town. Okay, let's, uh... I'm just gonna go ahead... ...and do this. We're gonna get a Kindle off real quick. And actually, before we go see... ...before we go see Stray Demon... Let's go down here again. We're gonna go do something that normally I do as one of the first things I do when I get to Firelink Shrine. But I put it off this time. Just because, you know, we got, we got guns and there was so much more to do and I, and I didn't want to spend too much time on Firelink Shrine on the first episode. The, the first part. But what we're doing is we're gonna go get the, uh... We're gonna go get the... The Firekeeper Soul down here. Which, if you don't know... The item... That was on this guy. He's he's like trapped in the pot. You break the pot, you grab the item. Is going to be what lets us fight these these ghosts. Transient curse. Which actually, you know, now since we're over here, let's go see Ingward. Cause we got to do that anyways. Not up here I can hit them while they're still down there. There we go. Firekeeper Soul. But yes, that's the thing. Normally when you're like <laughs> when you're base level of whatever class you are, it doesn't matter. You, you <laughs> start of the game, that's usually what you do is you just run over there and grab that. You know, it would probably be tempting to jump down there. You might even be able to get out of it with squirrel ring, 
but see it the game tempts you to say like this is a shortcut but it actually screws you over because you need to kick that ladder down first if uh, maybe there's a way with scroll ring but overall like on base game it's a trick and you will be trapped down there if you don't go through the proper way and kick that ladder down Oh, uh, hello, ghost. Uh, come on, get out of the wall. More transient. Oh, no, I got the, the jagged blade. Take this! Oh, no, it actually got me. The damn ghost, its long reach got me. Come on, drink, drink, drink. Oh, oh we survived. <laughs> I thought we were dead for sure. I was like, my one hope is just throwing a grenade at the wall right now. All right, just triggering that one so it comes out. Come on. You know, I bet there's another gun in here that's uh, able to be found. Able to be found without uh, lowering the water. Because Inferno's a nice guy. He probably... That, that's, what I, that's what I realized about all the gun placements so far when I was going through and finding them. They were all actually very generous. They were, they were very nice of him to put where he did because he could have made it so much more of a pain in the ass. That goes to getting shot in the head, doesn't care. There we go. All right. I feel like any second the transient curse should run out. Maybe I should just shoot the other one from here, too. Can I? I don't see it. Never mind. Oh, there it is. Well, I'm not hitting it, so doesn't matter. Oh, transient curse ran out. Right over. There. Oh, there's another. Ghost in the wall. Did I kill it? I don't think I did.
There we go. Oh, auto grenades. You know what? Let's switch to this. Oh, I didn't switch. Alright, get them all. Looks like I got a good number, number of them at least. I've got to have enough souls for whatever Ingward has. His fly up into the air sorcery is probably only like 10,000. Well, this is... I'm an old man, but I... Okay, he's got break, tr break curse, soul sap. What is this? Impoverished Mages helps to even the playing field when dealing with opponents sporting his vastly superior armor. Okay, so Soul Vault. Soul, soul Roots, what is this? Sorcery of Unknown Origin, Sacrifice Mobility to Empower Magic. Plant your feet firmly in the earth and draw power from your surroundings, a dangerous spell to use in combat, but the risk may be well worth the reward. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna buy everything he has. Why am I gonna buy everything he has? right now? Why, why does it have to be right now? Because I'm gonna kill him. That's why. Oh. Key to the seal. That's what we really needed. And yes, it's not like we're that far from getting the Lord Vessel. And the Lord Vessel would have prompted him to just give it to us anyways. But I want to do it now. Take that, ghost. There is one more item in here that we can go get. I think it's the speckled ring or something. The one that does like a little bit of resistance for every. No, it's curse bright. I was com I was completely wrong. Oh oh no! I'm like, why are we doing no damage to this thing? And it's because Transient Curse ran out. Transient Curse. There you are. Firing, just hip firing like this does feel really good too. Sometimes it's a little wonky. And you'll, it, like, if a, depending on the height of the target, it won't actually hit them, and that's inconvenient. But other than that, it works really well and feels good. Like, definitely, if you were just, like, running around, hip-firing with, like, the, uh, the SMG and the battle rifle with lock-on, it would definitely feel pretty good.
Okay, and there's one item on the roof, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder... Where would Inferno put a gun in here? Wherever it is, we might have already passed it. But part of me is thinking maybe he would put it up here on this perch. We'll do one check. Nope. No gun. I was thinking also maybe that little ledge where we got the, uh, the curse bite ring. But I don't think Inferno would put it there because there's already an item there. Probably the same reasoning why he didn't put it in the area with the composite bow. Because he's definitely the, uh, the kind of guy that would put it somewhere where he thinks you wouldn't look. So if there's already an item there, chances of you looking there are higher, right? Well, there's the boss fight. Did I just drop down right here? Did I just drop down right here and go fight them? <laughs> go fight the four kings right now? Because I could. There's nothing stopping me. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna, we're not gonna do the dangerous fall from the top. <laughs> I don't even want to risk accidentally hitting one of these ledges on the way down. But here, to top off, we'll consume a humanity. And yes, I'm not going to forget. We need we need that so we can traverse the abyss. Okay. Let's get rid of this off the hot bar so it's easier to do this all right okay time to yep time to get my my confidence up let's <laughs> let's let's do this let's go the abyss Look at that thing, what the fuck's it doing? What the fuck? <laughs> this is already very dangerous. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, he got us. He got us. <laughs> well, we gave it a we gave it, gave it a good try. Okay. 
I should have thrown grenades. That's what I should have done. All right, let's do the SMG. Let's do SMG battle rifle for now. And, and we're not immediately going to go back and fight the four kings. That's not what we're doing next. We're, we're going back up and we're going to go fight the, uh, the stray demon. Which means that I need the squirrel ring. I, I, I love that it is designed to look like the other ones, like the hornet ring and everything and the wolf ring. It's like, no, this is the squirrel one. <laughs> like we need a whole line of those rings. Like this is the badger ring. This is the mongoose ring. Okay. All right. Come get me, crow. Raven. Raven, probably a raven. There we go. And we're here. Northern Undead Asylum. I wonder if by beating Master Chief, we'll get his armor. Like, like, is that a thing? Is Zima gonna have his armor if we go kill him? Because that would be... That would be a very nice touch from Inferno. But... But, <laughs> but I also would understand if it's not at all in the game. Now both are loaded. Okay. Where's Oscar? Oscar, buddy? Does not open from this side. But I never... Did I actually never open that door? That actually means that Oscar's not going to be able to come down and meet me in the courtyard. He's going to still just be wandering up on the second level. Can I shoot the... Can, I better not be able to do this. No, okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Whoops. Take this. Damn it. Reload too slow. Got him. Okay, Oscar's not coming down the ladder, so that's a good sign. Okay, reload. Damn it. Reload. But yes, this item is what's necessary for us to do one of the two boss fights because it facilitates us to get the, um, the encounter. 
or not not the encounter what am i saying i, I was zoned i was thinking about red phantoms for a second for a second i was thinking about how we have for the most part played this um not human like we've been undead the whole time i haven't been reversing my hollowing and because of that we've probably been missing out on some uh on invasions from npcs and that kind of thing Might be a bad idea to do this here. We're probably gonna die to a stray demon, but uh, that's fine. But yeah, what I, what I was saying, is that the peculiar, peculiar, <laughs> the peculiar, goddamn, I'm having, struggling just to say the word, the peculiar doll is what's used to get to the, um, to get to the painted world. And that's where one of the boss fights is. Oh. Reload battle rifle. Oh god, he got me. I tried to do a fancy juke. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> what happens if I lead him into the stray demon fight, huh? Like, what, what do the Black Knights do then? I've never even considered doing that before. Like aggroing, aggroing the the Black Knights, running into the center, and then all of you falling into there at once. They probably would just get killed by stray, uh, strays AOE attacks. Oscar, you here? Where is he at? And then he, since he couldn't go through this door. Where did where is he gone trying to find me? Is he just glitched? Was he removed? I don't know. But he's not here. Is he gonna be over here? There, yes he is. This is, he tried to go this way to find me. Oh, shit. Okay, Oscar. I'll see you when you get back up. shield oh god this scroll jump in a hallway
Okay. I'm also, I'm thinking while I'm going through this about how we're going to approach the four kings. And I'm thinking that may be the way to do it. Is to use plasma weapons. Because I'm not going to have to reload those. Which is also meaning that I'm not going to use them here. Are you serious? That's right, I did sit at the bonfire. Forgot. That means that I would respawn that guy. We'll try out the plasma and the, uh, and the normal one. All right, time to face our doom. Take a T-pose. Shit. Holy shit. Just smashing us. Oh, my God. I got to get inside. I got to get in. doing it. God fucking damn it. I can't believe that hit me. Oh, that stupid, that stupid one where he waves his wand and the, and the AOE goes forward instead of being directly on him. That move has always been garbage. Right before it happened too, I was like, I was like, that stupid move better not fucking hit me. I'm, I'm practically past him. And then it did anyways. Okay, round two. Oh my god, he, he fucking opens up with it this time. You piece of shit.
Oh, you piece of shit. Got lucky that didn't hit. We've done it. We got a Titanite slab. You know, there's this ladder to get out of here. And it makes me wonder because the ladder goes right here. Could you do this like... Oh my God, you can. You could just enter the boss fight that way. I wonder if it would like break the game and the uh the ceiling would instantly fall out. <laughs> okay, so we still need 30 faith. We're getting there. How dare you? No, just let me pass. Let's get out of here. You piece of shit. <laughs> that guy, I'll wait for him right outside the door so he can't get out. <laughs> All right, away we go. This blast reinforced. Now. Now we go back down. Tempted. To go the Valley of the Drakes route. Because it'll get us back there very, uh... Mm, I might have to run past the... Well, yeah, because killing the Drakes is going to take a while. But if we go this way, we'll get to see stuff we haven't, and maybe we'll find the gun. So this is the way we will go.
I changed my mind. We're gonna speed run it. We're gonna go this route. <laughs> Is the gun over there? <laughs> That's that's the kind of place uh, Inferno would put it. Or like down there at the end. Whoa, over the edge we go. It was right there that we jumped off before, wasn't it? Pretty sure it was. Yeah, we came right here. We did this. And we went right on through. No need to fight a single Dark Wraith. You know, I am curious, though. Not how the Spiker will do in general in this fight. Because it's still a reload weapon, but I'm curious at how it's grenades are going to do. Fuck did that one go? Okay, let me heal. The first one not do damage. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. If I could see, that would be great. Game, <laughs> please! Oh my fucking god, lock on! Why are you not locking on? Why is the game not locking on? It just fucking fucks up my camera every time I hit it. Holy fuck, the game has decided I should lose. That was total bullshit. Alright, we gotta run down there again now. Oh my god, man. That the game for some reason stopped locking on and instead it would just do this where it spins the camera around Oh my god, what the fuck was that? That was terrible Okay, but what what have we learned we have learned the way to win is to just throw two spike grenades Right from the start.
We throw two spike grenades. I wonder if I can get through this without even using... Uh, I'll use it anyways. The, um... The transient curse. But yes, from what that did, the spike grenade looked like it did way more damage than the plasma. And we would have killed that first one right off the bat if it, uh, if the spike grenade hadn't, like, curveballed and flew into the void. Yeah, we're not bothering with any of them this time. But maybe I should go down there and see if a, see if the gun is down there next time ghost trying to fucking get me through the fog wall. Alright, we're going down the... Uh, we're going down this way this time. hit him in the void and it still did manage to, uh, damage to them like the overall health bar that's crazy hey it's my souls they're so far away Get away from me and my humanity, you prick! Inconvenient. All right, this time we're not using transient curse. I'm not wasting another one. But it also looks like you have to hit the, um... You have to hit the spike grenade just right. You have to hit it perfect. Or else it's useless. Because the one I, I threw, like, didn't quite get to him. And it just, like, descended into the void.
and then one of them did not maybe all the projectiles didn't hit because it did far less damage than it had done in the past Definitely the trade-off here is that man, you're you're a lot more vulnerable when you use guns. Because you can't use a shield or anything. You can't block. I didn't equip the squirrel ring, did I? That's all right, I'll just have to... Oh, damn it! I lost my goddamn souls, the 10k that we had down there. That sucks more than anything. I should have ran and got him. I definitely should have. I would have been, uh... I would have had a lot more time to shoot that guy as he came up to me. Step one complete. Yes, our, our hold zero souls now. Because our 10,000 were lost to the void. Okay, we've done it. Four King Sword. Oh, that's new. Humanity. Kaith. Greetings, undead warrior. I am the primordial serpent. Art two. Just give me the dark armor. Oh, that's right. How many how many humanity do do I have to give to get the dark armor? Give him ten to start. What is go? Take it, take it all. Red eye orb. Okay. You know, I remember it used to be my goal to lose no humanity. And because it's like 80 to get like the max rewards from this guy. And I would like come down here and throw and I would already have my humanity counter at 80. So I would just stack them there. 
And I would give him 80 all at once. That's that's the true that's the true over the top crazy way to play Dark Souls. But it man, it stacks though, because you get so overpowered when you've got the stat boost from 80 soft humanity. Nothing yet. Just you wait, Keith. I'm gonna give you some more. Don't worry, I'll get the I'll get the Lord Vessel in good time. We gotta do this first though. We got it. Farewell. You gotta warp me back, dude. Oh no, or wait, does this one warp even though I don't have the war the Lord Vessel? Yeah, that's that's how it goes. Okay. You know what? Let's go right to Undead Parish. How nice of it for letting me warp anywhere. And look at that. Sen's Fortress awaits. Okay. Let's, yeah, since we've been using those a bunch, let's switch it up. Past him. Oh, four king sword. Yeah, let's look at that. Okay. Holds the black secrets of my bloody past. I am burdened by sin and I am tormented by what I have done. This is my true inner darkness, mom. It's not just a phase. Now get out of my room. <laughs> Yes, I think... I think Inferno was channeling Cronovan when he wrote that. We have nowhere near the stats to, to wield that weapon. The Dark Hand is like a, a secret treasure in this game, though, because most people never get the Dark Hand. And they don't even know that it that it steals humanity. Like, imagine how busted that is. That like, imagine being that asshole where you you invade somebody else's world and you start stealing humanity with the dark hand. Battle rifle, and we'll we'll keep the spiker on. Okay, we rest here just to make sure. Okay, I'll figure out where the gun is in New Londo later. And I'll tell you guys. But, uh, I do know where the one in Sen's Fortress is. So never fear. We're gonna get a new gun here. That's right, I don't have the squirrel ring on. Okay, so far so good. Let's 
now that we've got the ha the ring, Havel's ring, let's see if we can put on the Vestalt stuff. We can. We can at least put that on. Let's see if we can do the um the legs now. Yeah, it's not a great roll, but it's good enough. Okay, we've done it. We are now We are now Father Vestalt. Okay. Can't even see him because he's too far away. Okay, we did it. Actually, I am tempted. Squirrel's going back on. Why? Because we're going to do it. We're going to make the damn jump. There we go. Sense Fortress beaten. There. Now we've opened up. That, that opens up the, um... The way to what's his name? Big Hat, Big Hat, Lo Big Hat Logan. My God, he didn't let me jump over it. There a guy usually right there. There he is. Why is he not stepping out? That makes this a lot scarier, to be honest. Don't you dare. Okay. Now we just have to run and get the bonfire.
we already unlocked the shortcut to Logan, so. Now we don't have to worry about those at all. Well, we still do have to worry about the bomb. We'll just, we'll hurry up there and we'll go take out him. And then we will finish exploring this area. we go defeated <laughs> they don't let you do that but okay with that giant down now you shall see This guy. Uh, what? But I. Check out all the armor he has. I'm pretty sure this is Demon Soul's armor, if I'm remembering right. That's what this is. So now even the Demon Soul stuff is in here. Which makes me wonder, is there anything we should get from here? Like this brushwood stuff seems awful chunky. Nothing at all. Fine then. Don't worry, we'll come back later. But yes, I think I think if I get anything from him, it'll be the brushwood stuff. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh no, that actually really sucks. Yep, because I gotta kill... I think both of them are back. Yeah, that that really sucks cuz that means the uh the convenience of the way being open for us is gone now. I have to go reopen it if I want to go say hi to Logan. Which means I'm going to do it later. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> Where's my damn souls? Oh, there they are. I ran right by them. All right. 
right, let's go. Uh, nah, I'll do it. I'll do it. We gotta go get the gun, too. So let's see. I gotta remember how you have to drop down to get to the gun. I don't think it's here. No, I think it's higher up. Maybe from here. Maybe not from here? I thought it was on one of these metal beams instead of a, um, one of the normal walkable ones, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not down here. Hmm, which one is it on? I know it's on one of them. We'll try the other way. We just did this. So now we will do the way that I did initially. Oh wait, let's let's drop these souls. I don't want to lose them. done it. We now have Wrath of the Gods. Okay, if I drop down to there... Huh. If only I remembered which one it was. Let's just do a couple drop downs real quick. I'll see if I can spot something on the way. Am I gonna die from this fall? No. Oh, 
That was awesome. He got hit by the fucking the pendulum. I don't know, man. I think it was on that first one I went to and I just wasn't on like the precise spot. So I'll, I'll, I'll do it later where I'll go back onto that beam. The one we had to be up here to drop down onto. And I'll just use the, the pendant on every square inch of it till I get the gun. But in the meantime... Let's do it this way. This way's faster. Go down, there you go. There we go. We've done it. Oh wait, this doesn't work, damn it. Let's go check. Is the game nice or is it back part up? It looks like it's back barred up. Yep. Okay. Now what I'm wondering about, can I do it that way? Ah, fuck it. We'll just, we'll just run back. So I was, I was thinking if I if I do it that way, he's probably gonna stand up and no longer Like as soon as I get his attention, he probably will no longer Shit. Well, that worked but Yeah, as soon as I get his attention, he probably will no longer Drop the barrels down Uh, barrels, no. Boulders, or whatever they are. Oh, damn it. No, I fucked up again, though. I fucked up again. When I was going to get the key to unlock Logan, that's when I fell down and died, remember? And I had to jump back over to get my souls. You know what? I'm just gonna do this later. I've wasted enough time doing this. We're, we're just gonna go kill the Iron Giant. I'll save Logan later. We can't, bu we can't use any of his stuff anyways. Okay, now we go in. Let's see. And 
enjoy a T-pose. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna get a bunch of souls, right? 40,000. Okay, now, now we'll do it. We'll jump down here. We'll go over here. We'll buy the armor that I was talking about buying from this guy. The big chunky armor. Oh wow, he has he has a uh, goes stuff. I think it was brushwood, right? Okay, now we descend and we don't run off the edge. key all right now how many homework bones do we have left four okay so we'll level up strength is what we need to do next because we need to be strong enough to wield big strong weapons and you know I'm thinking when we do... Maybe when we do Master Chief and the other one... I'm thinking about not even using guns. Because, like, so, so far we're showing what, like... What using guns is like on all this stuff. Which, obviously, it tremendously simplifies things. But maybe I should see what... What doing those boss fights are like with using only what's available to you in normal Dark Souls. At least what's available... Or at least just what's not, you know, everything except for guns, at least. Is there a second one coming down? Nope. All right, Logan. Come on, there you go. We did it, we saved him. And we'll definitely check out what he has to sell before we place the Lord Vessel. Because he can't go to Duke's archives until we place it down. Alright, now we homeward back up. Yep. 
let's use everything. Oh, not quite enough. How much strength do I need for the Black Knight Sword? Probably like 40, I think. Oh no, only 20. 20 and 18 dex. Oh, I will have to level dex back up. Again. I thought I was going to be able to stomp at 14, but no, we gotta get it to 18. All right, that should definitely be our next focus then. Next four, uh, four points on that for sure. We've made it. Glorious and Orlando. Too bad I'm gonna throw a plasma grenade at Guinevere. And there's no point in even fighting these giants for these chests. Because they're all gonna disappear. When we, when we throw that grenade at Guinevere. Oh, and we're coming up on the next gargoyle. That's a good thing, because... Surely we will get the other... Gargoyle weapon then. Don't leave me behind! Okay, I, I was gonna say, I, I don't know if this thing was activated yet. Now it'll just go up and down forever. Yes, I could just... I could just throw a spike grenade and kill him instantly, but... Where's the fun in that? Oh, jeez. We'll do that to the next one. There we go. Still no gargoyle halberd.
damn it the fucking the normal grenades are so hard to land because if they if it's anybody that has a shield it just bounces off and doesn't do damage sometimes it does but for the most part i have noticed it does not so you have to unlock and throw it at the ground Oh, this part's not gonna be fair for them. Uh, hey guys. You sure that's the best place to stand? Okay. go sucks for them oh we are actually getting close to the gun in this area as well Maybe, maybe gun does not chop that thing and I need to do it with the sword. Headshot. Now, is it right here? No, it's not there. For some reason, I thought it was. Is it instead on the other side? Let's check that out then. I thought for sure it was on that side. There it is. Beam rifle. Whoa, buddy. What do we get for our effort? A divine blessing. How nice. We're gonna use the beam rifle on Gwendolyn. That's what we're gonna do. All right, buddy, you're not your lucky day there we go now we've got it but yes the other the other gargo got to die valiantly but not him didn't actually mean to use squirrel jump there. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? You're not supposed to be able to- how- how did he get through? That is some fucking janky shit. What happened?
Okay, we did it. All right, time to cheese this. Oh, God. Not as simple as I hoped it would be. Holy shit, not as simple at all. Okay. Okay, not practical. up my pattern oh. shit <laughs> I strafe right back into it I fucked it up We should be fine. I took out the one that matters. Oh my god. That was definitely too close for comfort. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, now I'm thinking about it, I think, <laughs> I think I forgot the area with the giants. I think I forgot that the giant ver like, cause there's the human door and the giant door. And I think I forgot the giant door was open on the right side and not the left. And I was like, I was like, oh my God, how does the giant get in here? Okay, let's level up. All right, we're, we're gonna go face the big boys. Ornstein and Smo. We're, we're, we got the squirrel ring, so it's only gonna take a, a few moments to get there. Is this where the jump is? Yeah, it is. Hey, buddy. Goodbye. I'm not even going to open the shortcut.
Okay, so far so good. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no. Well, that sucks. But we almost got him. <laughs> we almost got him that that quick. Okay, let's Okay, we got two humanities. There we go. There. <laughs> we escaped his his uh his swing this time. Fucking god, even just gliding to me. You piece of shit, Smo. Oh my fucking god, these assholes. Oh, they're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. Yes, they wait. They're gonna get cheesed by my spike grenade soon enough. You fucking asshole! I tried to roll, but I fucking did the squirrel jump instead. Ugh, you piece of shit, Ornstein. Okay. So, what we're gonna do... We're definitely killing Ornstein first. I don't want to deal with him as, as Big Ornstein. But now that I've made it to here, I'm taking Squirrel Ring off. It's a hindrance in the boss fight. So instead, we're upgrading. And let's see. How big can we go? Can we go, go Brushwood? No, we cannot go brushwood. Can we go Vestal? Well, yes, we, we know we can go Vestal.
there. We did it. We win. Here we go. Guinevere, if you were real, I wouldn't do this. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god, the way it lit up her eyes. <laughs> that made it so much worse. The Lord Vessel is mine. See how much Okay, so we're almost there. I don't know. Now that I the beam rifle is slow, it makes you walk very slow. So I don't think actually that I should use it against Gwendolyn. I think it would definitely get me killed against Gwendolyn. But I also think maybe the solution for Inferno's problem with this weapon being overpowered is nerfing the power of the individual spikes, maybe? Maybe that's the solution, because right now it's a bit silly. God damn it. You know what, let's do it. Take that. of the dark moon defeated. Because battle rifle is definitely going to be my choice for taking on Gwendolyn. That's right, not from this side. Maybe I should just go over here and unlock that right now. Because it is definitely a good thing to have. Should I just upgrade my, my, I think I should. So I'm definitely going to get that point of dex when we're in there. So I should just, I should just pop these and upgrade my Black Knight Sword right now.
What the hell? You can upgrade these for nothing? Oh my god, Inferno. Why would I not do this then? How much more can I buy from you? I'm just gonna upgrade everything I can, just to have them not highlighted. committed to the Vestalt armor for now. It'll be a long time before we can upgrade to the, um, to the brushwood stuff anyways. Oh. Oh, whoops. we go. <laughs> That's the way to do it. But all right, I, I've changed my mind. We're gonna, we're gonna bring the beam rifle in for Gwendolyn after all. I want to see how I can, how I can do with it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for the cheese immediately on, on Gwendolyn. We'll see. <laughs> Is that already there, or do I have to do another one? humanity but that's not enough to to kindle oh my god this does work great We have defeated the son of Gwyn. All right, Sunlight Blade. Curious that Sunlight Blade would be here. 
Like if you were doing a, so a Solaire playthrough, that would mean that you would have to do this to get the Sunlight Blade. Who knows, maybe this is Solaire's true destiny. <laughs> he realizes that the light of or An Orlando is false. He's like, oh, even the light inside myself is brighter than the fake light of An Orlando. And then he comes down here and throws lightning bolts <laughs> at, at uh, Gwendolyn. Okay. We're just a little off from being able to level up again. Not, yeah, we, <laughs> using the Gwendolyn one would probably be overkill. But now we can switch to this. Good old Black Knight Greatsword. Say the game was nice enough. Ooh, but that does make our roll chunky. That's troublesome. Okay, we just can't wear gloves. I'm just going to run to the painting. No time to worry about those guys. Now, I doubt I'm I'm strong enough for the um the secret boss fight here, but we're going to find out. I was planning on doing that stuff like at the end after we've beaten Is That enough for my level up. After we've beaten all the great lords and all that. Grenade never working. Feels like a Resident Evil game when I'm doing that. God fucking damn it. You piece of shit. But alright, this is it. This is the the spot. Of one of them. Oh, fuck, I forgot about these. Thank you. 
Okay. Now let's just go ahead and use the divine blessing. On my bar. But like I was saying, this is the spot of one of the uh, the boss challenges. Oh my god, look at their health! Oh my god! No! <laughs> oh man. So cursed. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Okay, we're going to unequip the Black Knight. Well, yeah, we'll we'll keep that unequipped for now. I'm gonna put the uh, the pla the beam rifle back on. But okay, we'll come back for them. I should definitely have the squirrel ring equipped for this. Wow, you got me. the fog door towards the boss, right? Oh no, that's the one this way. Okay. We're just gonna be moving on. That's right, we gotta go underground to do it. But we're not doing that. God damn it. Really? Give me my, give me my dragon scales. I don't even know. Can I still do the kick with a gun out? Does not appear so. Just mosey on by, don't mind me.
<laughs> oh my fucking god that is so busted so busted she died as she lived a t <laughs> okay all right we did it we'll come back here later Yeah, them giving you Homer bones is such a trap because it just brings you back to the painted world if you use it right now. In which case, you'd be stuck there and you'd have to go all the way through again. Oh, look at these fucking guys. Oh my god. Oh my god, the fucking rotating broke it There we go Must be out of ammo go actually we should probably do this I can warp from I was thinking about it we're gonna have to warp out of here Preferably back to like Firelink Shrine, right? Well, uh, either that or we do du Duke's Archives first. Maybe we should do Duke's Archives first. So I'll rest here, set our spawn. And yeah, we'll we'll go do Dukes. Man, I have no idea where the gun would be in there. <laughs> would Inferno? Oh my God! You know, the cruelest thing for him to do would be to put the gun at the end of the uh, of the invisible bridge maze puzzle that you have to get to the the. Um, I think it's like a blue titanite slab or something like that. It's like whatever the, the slab equivalent for leveling up a magic weapon is. I shouldn't have cheesed Priscilla so fast, but man, it was so tempting. Like even just having this in my arsenal now, like because this is like this this entire thing is just us breaking the game as hard as possible with these Halo guns, right? But man, just having the option to just throw a a vastly overpowered spike grenade is so tempting. are mimics, right? <laughs> so long, mimic. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. I haven't I haven't placed the Lord vessel yet. Shit. And that's right. I don't have Homeward on my bar anymore. I gotta actually use Homeward bones. Okay, before we go, before we go, I'm gonna go buy the um, the giant armor from our buddy, the blacksmith up there. You know, for reasons. I was hoping upgrading the armor would help in that, um, in the, uh, the, the sus boss fight, but but they have a lot of health, and it does not help that much when you just get repeatedly backstabbed. Okay. Now. Actually, before we go, what do we need to upgrade that? Twinkling as well, of course. Okay, so now we go to the abyss. Actually, it would be nice to have Framped to, um, to eat items for us so we can get souls. Sorry, Keith. <laughs> Betrayal side switch at the last second. <laughs> I know we've done everything to be a super evil dude. <laughs> we, we took out everybody in An Orlando. We sacrificed a bunch of humanity to get the dark armor. But uh but hey, what's up? Uh, hello. Yes, it was me. This is the fire link chick. Placed it. Take me back. Are you ready? We're back. Okay, pop and Gwendolyn soul. How much strength do we need for the thing that I'm? Uh, let's see, fifty. 
We've got a ways to go. So, Nido, Archives, or Isolith, which to do? Let's do... Yeah, let's just get good old Seath out of the way. cannot think of any situations that we will need the squirrel ring again for the rest of the game. So I don't think I'll have to downgrade my armor. God damn it, I do that every time. this way and we're gonna even though we don't have the squirrel ring we won't need it for this area we'll still be able to um to run past the majority of the enemies I'm just gonna spike grenade the boars because why not? You know, I think I'm not gonna cheese Manus though when we eventually get to Manus. Like, I'm gonna cheese Calamit. I don't care about fighting Calamit legit, but I do wanna see what it's like fighting Mal Manus legit. Without the guns. Or not, no, with the guns, without the spike grenade, is what I meant to say. Trying to kill that golem really quick, but these guys are gonna get in the way. What am I? What, what the fuck? What the fuck? No! 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 God fucking damn it! Pendant, you have betrayed me. Spamming roll does not get you out of the pendant.
All right, we're just gonna spam Wrath of the Gods on these guys. We're gonna gather them all up, and we're gonna Wrath of the Gods them. Oh, he still got me. There, we got the broken pendant. One of the steps to get the DLC. God damn it. I kind of want to spike grenade this guy. Ring of Sacrifice. I don't want to lose these souls. We'll worry about that when we get to the door to fight Seath. There's still a guy over here that's going to get Spike Grenade. Okay. Yeah, because I forgot. He's going to try and curse us. Take a spike grenade, Seath! <laughs> we made him T pose! That was great. <laughs> Even up there, we made him T-pose. Okay, now we run to the bottom.
I wonder if the the gun is in here for seats place. Yes, I'm sorry, but you have unique sorceries on you. Hey, bud. Hello again. That's right. I forgot. Damn it. I forgot to actually talk to him. When it was outside of Anor Londo, or uh, when we went back to Firelink Shrine, I forgot to um, talk to him there to see if he sold anything new. That actually did a lot of damage. Can you get away from me, little guy? Okay, now we can go. But heal. Yes, like I did with all the areas that we went through before, I will go back through all of these afterwards and get all the items. Because so far, it has appeared that none of the items are actually changed that you pick up. Vendors have new items that you can buy. And the pendant reveals the secret ones, but other than that, nothing's changed in the mod. Swoop around him. Oh. That little glide over that guy made it reminiscent of still having the, um, the squirrel ring equipped. Oh, you piece of shit. Get away from me. How dare you? Okay. All right. So I think I'm actually going to end the video here. 
because I think we've already done quite a lot this video. I don't I've done, I don't got a timer next to me, but I'm betting this one went for quite a while, just like the first one did. So in the next one, we will pick back up and we will take care of the rest of the uh, the remaining Lord Souls. But all right, thanks for watching. Goodbye.